Hey y'all, so a couple days done went by. Well, not a couple days, cause talk to y'all Friday. I didn't film, no, Thursday. Cause it was what, three weeks, so I didn't film Friday. It was busy. So today's Saturday, okay? Today's Saturday, June 10th, all right? So I was on Facebook market, looking up some, you know, thrift stuff, trying to save some money. And I came across um, these people were selling some pots, like those nursery pots and stuff, a dollar, okay? They sell from a nursery that closed. So we out here now, y'all, it's a farm area. I'm gonna show y'all what everything looking like. Um, I'm gonna get some of these pots because I want to grow some of my peanuts in it. So I'm gonna come out here and see what's going on. See if I can get some thrifty little pots and go from there. So I'm excited. Yeah. Oh look y'all, it's a whole corn field. Look. Oh my goodness. Look at that y'all. All that corn. All that corn. It is so pretty out here, y'all. I wish I had this area. Oh my goodness. It is so pretty. So so pretty, y'all. Oh my goodness. And it's corn fields over here. I'm not getting y'all on no, camera. <laughs> It's a uh, cornfield. Uh, corn, it comes all the way around. Like it is so, so, so pretty. So pretty. y'all already know I'm gonna stop at this little produce area and see what they got here they got a little produce stand and show some support and you know go from there so this is the little stand right here y'all okay all right y'all okay y'all so I am at Roy's produce okay so I'm at Roy's produce y'all off in um what did he say this at 24 and cornmeal road oh 24 and cornmeal road in Burlingville in front of the family dollar store right across so 24 and cornmeal road so if y'all in the area stop by the produce stand and you know support 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 so they got potatoes red potatoes sweet potatoes cucumbers Y'all know I gotta get some of these. You know I gotta get some of these. <laughs> uh, turnips, um, squash, cucumbers, onions, cabbage. I am wanting to get some of my, ooh, turnip greens. Yeah. Um, and they got these beans. This is what I want. I want the beans. <laughs> so, yes, they got strawberries, like blueberries, let's see. How often are y'all having? Uh, six and a half days. Sundays I come up. So, Church get up. Peaches, blueberries, strawberries. So, yes, y'all. All right, y'all. I'm so excited. I had stopped filming because I was getting my stuff. So, I'm still here at the produce, at the produce stand. And this is what I got. I got three pounds of fresh green beans because y'all know mine ain't came in yet. But well, they coming in. But I got three pounds of fresh green beans. They was two dollars a pound. So that was six dollars. And then I ended up getting some turnip roots because y'all already know. And then I got these onions. Yes. So I paid eight dollars in all for everything. 
That is, yeah, I can work that right there. I can work that. I'm so excited, y'all. Okay, y'all, so we was headed back towards Jacksonville and stopped at this little flea market thing. And so I, we were gonna do just a drive through and came across one of these storage. They got some ducks. So I'm definitely gonna go look and see um, and get, get that information about coming back at a different time, y'all. So let's go. All right, y'all, so here they go. They are different varieties of ducks, y'all. So we are in Beulahville. Where's that exact? Um, this is Beulahville Flea Market. Beulahville Flea Market. So y'all can put that in y'all GPS, okay, if y'all in the area. And look at this. So I'm definitely gonna be looking into getting some more, y'all. Yeah, male and a female there. Male and female right there. And I got three sets of male and females in here. Three sets of males and females in there. And they're ready to go home and be free ranged again. Okay. They do not like being in a cage. Oh, they don't? Okay, well, mine is in my backyard. So whatever I get needs to be able to be in a... I have um, these big... Uh, this should be like a dog kiln. Yeah, they the big yeah. ones with the top. Yeah, but see, see how small. Look how crazy. Yeah, they are. yeah, yeah. But see, I had them all in here, and it was just too much. It was too much. They couldn't even move. Wow. So what I did is I made a couple pairs because I had the male and female mm -hmm. of each type mm -hmm. right there. A khaki camel, a <laughs> okay. ruin. This mixed with Peking, mm -hmm. and then the uh, Cayuga mixed okay. with Blue Swedish. Oh wow, y'all see that? <laughs> so and then these are ruins and Khaki Campbell's in there. There's Khaki Campbell there and Khaki Campbell here. Okay. And then these other ones are ruins. Their head turns bright green okay. when they get a little older. And you can see on a couple of them their feathers are starting to come in. They'll get uh -huh. blue or teal or green side feathers. Oh wow. This male here, he's a boy, he's a big boy, and he's got blue feathers. Ooh. I think he's got teal feathers. Wow. Yeah, because I have five peacons and like it's a huge um thing that I keep them in. Yeah, yeah. So they're able to see I so I wouldn't want to have too many because I want because they're already big now. And yeah. I had them from babies, like day old. Yeah. So I would want something that will be able to be um you know, See, but and they have to stay in that closure until it's their turn. We also have big dogs. Oh, so see, our dogs have their turn, mm -hmm. and then at three o'clock in the afternoon till dark, mm -hmm. they have their theirs. turn. Gotcha. But now on Saturdays when I come here, they don't get their turn till I get home. Now let me ask you, because we have the kitty pools we do from time to time and let them be in there. Yep. Um. But I know they don't have to be in there constantly. But they also say make sure you have a water so they can keep their... So it just has to be deep enough deep for them enough. to dip their nose, their nose in. Exactly. And that's exactly what we've been doing. Yeah. And they are just so... They funny. They just run everywhere. Oh, ducks are hilarious. <laughs> I love my ducks. Oh, it's just, goodness. see, I incubated these. Uh-huh. Because I have ducks. They never would sit on a nest. Wow. So I hatch out all these babies right here. And I've got five nests of ducks going right now at my house. Are you serious? I got one nest that has three ducks sitting on it. Wow. I got three more nests that have one duck a piece sitting on them. Wow. Don't even know how many eggs are under there. You know, I'm not expecting more than five or six to hatch out of each one, but still, I've already got 30, 35 ducks left at the house for me to keep. Uh huh. I picked some out of these, you know, I picked a couple. Wow. One girl just snuggled up to my neck. She wasn't my favorite, but she snuggled up big so good. I said, well, you know I can't get rid of you. I know, I know. So somebody bought them. Okay, so it's chickens in here, y'all, and the ducks, y'all already know, they be huddled up. They doing the same, except for ones and twosies. They kind of like huddled up or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, so I have her information and y'all gonna be seeing on the channel me with some more ducks, okay? Soon, because I'm definitely gonna have to come and get some. See, these are the <laughs> these sets. <laughs> this is Swedish and Cayuga. Oh. This is a male. Oh my goodness. So you vent sex them, right? To know of who male and female? No, no I, I, I get that wrong every time. Every I try. time? Mm. You have to do it within the first week. Uh huh. And I got it like half and half. Yeah, yeah. That's so what I'm I like, did for my five. I vent sex them. I hope they right. I hope I got all the females. Voice. 
The voice. The voice. Yeah. So I do have one out there that's very vocal, loud, like somebody hurting it. The loudest, the female. It's the female. Okay. So okay. See, well, that's good. See how it's nice and calm and quiet. Oh, Look so. at that. Oh my goodness. Watch it. Let's get your baby girl. Come here. That's the sound she be making. Yeah, so it's a female. I hope they are females. Oh, that's it. Oh, uh, yay! So I know I at least got one girl. <laughs> that's the sound. Okay. Oh, hey. Oh, she's like, wow, who is these people? Who is these people? Because she's looking at me. <laughs> oh, this is Swedish and Cayuga. Swedish and Cayuga. This one, it's a male. It's a male, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. He's, he's peaking and ruin. She's a ruin. And wow. Because ruins don't have that much white. So is that is that sound for all ducks? The loud ones is the, thank mm -hmm. you so much. Okay. It's the male. Okay. Okay, let's pick up your mate. See, I've been, I paired these up since I had, since I had. Come on, talk to me. Oh, oh now you're not going to do it? Really? <laughs> now you're not gonna do it. So she's the female. This is the female. <laughs> oh, it's like I ain't got nothing to say. Come on. <laughs> you decided you're gonna be quiet now. <laughs> oh on. my goodness. Show her. Show her. Come oh on. Come on. Come Don't on. give me the sound. Come she's on. She's like, nope. Come you already heard it. Come on. Then you come say on. you got some ducks. Come you know on. it. <laughs> come on. Y'all, she is so pretty. Come Look on. At her. Come on. Talk to her. Come on, say hello. Say hello. Uh, she said that's all you get. <laughs> Is that the best you can get? Huh? She did something else. She said that's all she's giving. Oh, oh, okay. She's like, put me back in here with my man. And then this. <laughs> Come here. Oh, 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 oh. It's the male, Jackie Campbell. Oh, oops. Oh. Look at them beautiful wings. I know that is so pretty. Y'all see that? Oh my goodness, so pretty. This is the male, Kaki Campbell. Oh my goodness, so pretty. Yes. Oh my goodness. Y'all, we have gotten a show today. <laughs> Let's get her. Oh, okay. Female, Kaki Campbell. Y'all hear the female is louder. Woo. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, she is looking at me like, who is this? Oh, so pretty, so pretty. Oh my goodness. And these are so quiet. They just chilling, y'all. All right, y'all. So here go the pot that i was able to get um so i got 30 dollar worth and it was two dollars each so these are i think they're three gallon i think she has said three gallon um pots so they like i said they was um supposed to be in two dollars i mean supposed to be a dollar but when i got there the big ones these size was two dollars so i went on and got those so still happy because i would have paid more for a three gallon bucket at um Lowe's or Home Depot so yeah so y'all here go my goodies I gotta show y'all some turnips uh roots and then those onions and I'm happy about all these green beans y'all so from a produce stand um where we went so eight dollars for all of these all these y'all and this it, it's a lot cheaper than going to the grocery store okay y'all so i am huh, wore out okay it is almost six o'clock in the evening it is time for me to relax okay so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here this vlog i hope y'all enjoyed it so much um make sure y'all growing y'all own food if you can support you know um if you can support um local produce stands and stuff like that in y'all area that would be great and it probably will save you a little bit of change 
on some things okay so with that being said thank y'all for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell so you be notified each and every time that i upload a video and i will see y'all in the next one if it's god's will y'all be safe until next time bye